Hello my beautiful MK Love fam and welcome back to another weekly angel guidance. This is from May the 14th to the 20th. Such a beautiful week because we have the new moon in Taurus. But before I get started, I just want to let you know that if you are new to the MK Love Fam, make sure you hit that red subscribe button and tap the bell so you can become one of our beautiful MK Love Fam. I make videos every Wednesday and Sunday helping you to learn to love yourself, trust your intuition, and to manifest your heart's true desires. So if this is something that totally floats your boat. I highly recommend you subscribe and join the fam. So today we're going to be doing a general reading for the week ahead. Just take from it what feels best for you. If you're new to angel guidance and you're like, oh, I'm not, I'm a bit skeptical. I don't know what this means. Basically, just at the end of the reading, your intuition is going to let you know what your divine messages are, and that's what you need to act upon for the week ahead. So, are you ready for your affirmations? Because we're going through three different phases of the moon phases today. So, the first one is on on Monday, actually, we're going to be starting the week out in the balsamic moon, which is my favorite time. And this is the time of the month where, well, not the month, the moon cycle, that I take four days off social media just to, you know, cleanse my body and detoxify. So, your affirmation is... I reflect with gratitude and take time to rest. Now on Tuesday, we're going to be moving into the new moon in Taurus, which is such a beautiful time. This is a new beginning. This is a new start to our uh, phases of the moon. So your affirmation is, I reset my intentions and feel the emotions associated. This is when you literally start writing down, what do you want to manifest? Just so exciting. It's like a fresh start. I always think of like new moons as in like New Year's Day, like it's a fresh start. And yeah. All right. Then on on Saturday, we move in to the crescent moon. And your affirmation is I refine my intentions and allow the universe to guide me. This is the time where you literally start planning out what actions do you need to take um, in order to make those intentions manifest into the physical world. So with all of that being said and done, let's get on to today's reading. I'm going to be starting off using the Angel Tarot from Doreen Virtue. Okay. All right, angels. What do my beautiful MK Love fam need to know from... Whoop, there we go. Pretty quick. Ooh, okay. I think we had this card last time. This is the Eight of Earth. I'm actually, I'm pretty certain we had this last week. Actually, we did because it says skill work is rewarded because yeah, last week was all about, um, I think the thumbnail says you are rewarded or something like that. So it says your work is rewarded, learning all there is to know about a topic going back to school. <laughs> then I heard that song, um, back to school. Oh no, it's a bit low vibrational. That's from Billy Madison. It goes to prove to dad that I'm not a fool. I got my boots tied up. Okay, we won't be saying that, but that's just what came to mind. That's so interesting. So this new chapter that you guys are starting, it's still continuing. I feel like we haven't got the momentum behind us just yet, but this is still the beginning of the week. So let's just get some more clarity. So that maybe the reward hasn't come just yet. Maybe you saw a little like glimmer of hope, but it hasn't fully manifested. Oh, that's so exciting. All right, clarity on the eight of earth. Eight is also about abundance. What do we need to know, angels? Oh, thank you very much. Oh, we got the 10 of fire. So there is so much going on. Well, that's completely true when we're starting a new chapter. So this one is, so we've got the pot of gold and we've got so many different like arrows into it. And whenever I see this one here, do you remember that time I drew that diagram a couple of months ago where I had, let me just quickly draw it for you again, where we had, when you focus your energy, it looks like this. But when you have too much going on, you're kind of like, Okay, so I've got this and I've got this, I've got the kids, I've got lunches, I've got, oh, I've got yoga, oh, I've got meditation, oh my gosh, I need to spend time with my fiance, oh my gosh, I need to plan for this, oh my gosh, I need to do coaching, oh my gosh, I need to do this, and blah, 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 you know, like, 
It's like you're doing a half ass job. So you just need to choose one and go with it. And, ah, and then I heard, I saw a flash from that movie, Eat, Pray, Love, when they're sitting down on that big long table and, and he's pretending to be the lawyer and she's like, he's like, I choose one, I choose you. I just saw that come across. It's like, just choose one thing that lights you up and focus that because if you're gonna be dispersing your energy in so many different ways, you are literally delaying a manifestation. For me, last month was all about moving house. This month, it's about finding a part-time job. And the crazy thing is, is I, if you've been following me for a while, you guys know that I used to be a primary school teacher. I taught for four years, two years in Australia, two years in the, in the UK. I haven't taught since 2011 was my last year of teaching. And then astrologically, I don't really understand astrology, but something moved into my fifth house and my mom was like, how about you get back into supply teaching or relief teaching? Americans, I think you call it substitute teaching. Um, and I was like, oh, I always said I'd never teach again, but I'm like, it just feels right now. And so yesterday I spent the whole day organizing documentations and I'm like, this is what I'm focusing my energy on because I need to get the, I need to, rebalance my energies with money and then I can focus on coaching because I'm like, I don't want to put all my eggs in one basket. I want solid income and keep working on my dreams. And I feel like that's going to help me feel more balanced because I don't want to feel like this. Maybe you are, or maybe you are aware that at times you can feel like this and you're taking proactive steps to try and balance your energies. And I highly recommend that in the balsamic moon, that you guys are taking time to disconnect. Have a bath, make my, um, my coffee scrub. Um, I don't know, disconnect, take your shoes off, go for a walk. Somewhere in mother nature, just take time for you. All right, so we've got, you're starting something new. There's a lot going on. Wow, okay. And then we got the three of fire. I love this card. Look at the dynamics. It's like, this is the teacher and the student. And I feel like this is, this is you here. And you're learning all you can from this beautiful master. And this master is like the master of balance. I find that this could be like an authoritative um, person, but it's like, this could literally be your intuition. This could be, if you um, can connect with spirits, if you're a medium, this could be like your loved ones who have passed away, sending you some, some different synchronicities, like song lyrics, maybe you find money. I don't know. How do you connect with that? It could be like numbers. So this card is all about abundance. It says things look very good. Have patience at this time, make long-term plans. You're planning for long-term success. You are not just planning for like this is a terrible way, but I heard like a one night stand. You are preparing for a husband relationship um, or you're planning for like long-term success in career. And to me, I always say that I'm like, okay, me going back to teaching isn't actually a back step. If anything, it's a forward step because before I did it wrong and I put all my eggs in one basket and I noticed resistance in my vibration. So I'm starting to clean it up. And now that I'm cleaning it up by starting this new chapter and, you know, making long-term plans, it's like, I'm not going to be a, a primary school teacher long-term, but it's gonna take me in the direction to where I need to be because I eventually am going to be a full-time one-on-one -on -one coach. I wanna help people like realize their hopes and dreams and know that anything is possible, but resistance is what muddles people up. So this is a really beautiful time. So this new chapter is going really, really well. And this is for your, I've, I've spoken about this before. This is long-term success that you're planning for. So it's just one step forward. Even if it's a little bubble step, that is amazing. You need to celebrate every little step. All right, what else do we need to know? I'm so excited for you guys. And reading all your comments every single week, oh my gosh, is the highlight of my week. Especially when I, you write to me every single week and you're like, Mel, this has happened and this has happened and this has happened. I'm like, oh my God. Like Leah, um, no, yeah, Leah, she's under Leah Music. She's one of my private clients and she messaged me the other day. Lee, I know you're watching. 
Leah, because I always get your name mixed up. Um, and she wrote to me and she's like, Mel, I manifested 8,000 euros. I was like, yes, girl. And she's like doing so well. And I, and she's making like long-term plans. Oh, she's just amazing. Anyways, I just thought of you, Leah, right now. <laughs> All right, what else do we need to know? By the way, I am sweating like a pig. I had to turn the fan off because it's gonna ruin my sound quality, but I'm like, <sighs> we'll see how we go. I may have to stop it and put it on. Ah, I'm gonna pull that card. Oh, a second card. Hold on, I've just dropped a number of cards. So the first card that I saw is the balance card. This is such a beautiful card. This is all about, you know, back to that picture again. It's like, choose that one thing that lights you up instead of like doing so many things because, you know, what is the most important? What is the priority of things that you want to do? Because that is what you need to focus on. This is beautiful. If we look at the numerology, one and four is five. Five is a massive transformation, a brand new chapter. And we know that we're in the, admit, the midst of this, this lovely, lovely, delicious time. And I feel so excited for you. Wait for the perfect timing. So we've had a lot about patience and perfect timing because, you know, it's it may not be coming like like this, like snap your fingers, like super duper fast, but it is coming because we have to keep in mind that this one is about long-term plans or making long-term plans. And then I keep hearing that song, don't look back in anger, I heard you say. And I heard that song last week too. I love this card because it's like the dragon is like looking out for her and she's like they're both like looking at all this like turbulent water and the waves are crazy but they're like on green grass and they're like it's not touching them you know they're very content and calm and it's just like looking at everything going around you and they're like okay I know that everything's working out there's a like a little beautiful butterfly so interesting when my dog Jesse passed away my mum said that Jesse is a butterfly and I was like, what? And now I see butterflies like everywhere. And I'm like, Jessie's here, Jessie's here. Oh, I just love it. Okay, then the other card that came out, ooh, okay, is the page of air. This is like the need to use tact. Maybe some of these messages um, um, may not be delivered in the most considerate or thoughtful ways, but maybe some information is delivered to you. It's like, and you're like, Oh, you didn't have to say it like that. So it says challenging information delays or changes to plans. Well, that's true because yeah, truth delivered without tack. And it's like, she's got all these beautiful animals around her. She's got a sword drawn if she needs to, but she's like, I'm divinely protected. I don't actually need to pull my sword, but if I need to fight, I will. She's very impulsive, curious, honest. She's got a lion, she's got a unicorn. She's also a bear, she's half a bear. <laughs> I got the eye of the tiger. There's no tiger in here, but it's like that, uh, that the claws remind me of like a tiger. Can you see her hand like on the sword over there? Ooh, that's interesting. By the way, I am burning up. Yeah. She's got a bear, she's got a, a lion, and a unicorn. Maybe the new path that you thought you were going to take maybe actually isn't the one that you thought because something has come up and you're like, oh, I need to do this first. So whatever is coming up, it is literally a blessing in disguise. Okay, what else do we need to know, angels? This is from May the 14th to the 20th we need to know clarity on eight of earth ten of fire three of fire balance and page of air oh I missed it there it is five of water okay so whenever I see this card here I feel like that totally flows on with the last one it's like delays or um, plans that are going to change and this one is saying things are not to turning out the way that you had hope 
not seeing the positive in the situation, crying over spilt milk. So this is like, some of you are going to be on a detour. And when detours come, we don't, we say thank you, thank you, and you just course correct and you go onto this new path. Like, I never thought I'd ever go back to teaching. Like there's so many times I've said, you know, the education system sees children as numbers and not as people and that's not really my vibe, but it's like, okay, maybe you need to go this way because it's going to help you get to where you want to faster. But yeah, that's so interesting. There's five cups, but two of them are standing up. So you haven't really lost everything. You know, this, was there one, two and three? Yeah. So there's one, two and three, and these two are standing up and then the light's shining on it. It's like, Okay, we're getting rid of these ones because that's not what we need anymore. These are the ones that spark joy for us right now. So I feel like not all of the plans have changed, just like some details to it have. So don't worry about that if you're freaking out, okay? <laughs> all right, what else do we need to know, angels? For May the 14th to the 20th, work for my beautiful MK Love Fam. Oh, three of air. This is a sad card. So you're really, I feel like you guys have like really taken to heart that, you know, things haven't, uh, aren't really going to go the way that you had envisioned, but you don't need to cry over spilt milk. This is like a divine intervention for some of you because, you know, this is just a general reading. If you want more in-depth information, then you'll need to book yourself a private reading. It says, great sadness. Take time to heal the need to forgive yourself or others. Ooh, that's interesting. What comes up for you when you see that? It's like you got the mama bear and the papa bear and then the little baby fold. So it's like maybe you need to go back to family to have that nurturing and comforting feeling. Maybe that's a partner. Maybe that's a best friend. I feel like this is going to go more so into the balsamic moon because that's the time to heal. And that's the time where you like need to disconnect so you can recalibrate with your higher self. You know, we can't be like, go, 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 because we get tired and exhausted and that's when you get sick. And ever since I started like manifesting with the moon and, you know, syncing my life with the phases of the moon, you know, I actually don't remember the last time I was sick. I honestly don't. I... I can't even remember the last, actually the last time I was sick was when Peter's parents were in town. So that was like a year and a half ago, if not longer. All right, so, so far it's like you're starting a brand new chapter and you need to really focus your attention on one thing. Stop trying to do everything because you're doing everything in a half-assed job. Focus your attention. Then, once you do that, you're then making long-term plans and you're doing what is the most important first. I used to manifest, like on the new moon, I used to have like a dream jar with like 20 different intentions in it and I'm like, I'm manifesting this, I'm manifesting that. But you know, it was too much, so I kind of got rid of the dream jar. And I was kind of like, okay, what's one thing that I'm manifesting? This is the most important and that's where I'm going to focus all of my attention. And as you do that, that's when you start to find your balance and things start to look up for you. But as you do this, this balance that you're now finding and this new chapter that you are working through, it may not be turning out the way in which you hoped, but that is actually a divine intervention and your angels are like helping it's like you haven't been listening to them before, so they're really making you pay attention now. Maybe some of you have been suffering for like a, a number of years and you haven't really, like the angels have given you time to work on this by yourself, but you haven't done it. So they're kind of like stepping in. What was that song? Da, 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 da. I want the world to know. Gotta let you go. I'm coming. I'm coming. Up. Da, 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 da. That's what the angels just. I heard that song. Is it? They're like, I'm coming. Like they're coming through the gate to like rescue me. Rescue me. Take me in your arms. Rescue me. So I feel like you're divinely rescued right now, and the path that you're going on this week is actually beautiful. I feel like some of you had seen signs of it last week, but this is more so evident this week. 
And then you just really need to take time to heal because maybe you had been like pushing things down for a long time. You actually hadn't got to the point where you had like, take time to breathe. That's just what I get. All right, maybe just one more card and then we'll pull from Shadowscape's Terror and then that'll be it because I need to turn the fan on because I am dying in here. Oh, there it is. Magician, we got that last week too. Ah, and then I heard that song. I believe in miracles. Do ya, do ya, do ya, do ya, do ya, sex thing, you. Normally I, I hear um, a different song, but today that's what I heard with this one. It says, you are ready. You have the resources or you have the ability to manifest them. Life is magical. So number one on the dreamer's journey is this new beginning, this new chapter. <laughs> I always hear that whenever I say new chapter, it's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me, and I'm feeling good. You really do have the power. Oh, that's that song I normally hear. I got the power, but I don't hear that one today. Interesting. Have a look at that one. You got the affinity sign above your head. It's like everything that you want. It's like you have the Midas touch. You have the power to manifest anything into your reality. If you haven't already checked out my brand new series, which is season two for the law of attraction, I have a video number episode one, which is um, how to manifest anything. I want you to watch that video because in that I teach you 10 of my hottest tips on how I have manifested so much delicious goodness into my life. And this is something that could totally help you out. I have episode two as well, um, where I talk about visualizing your dream life and scripting it so you start feeling the emotions associated with it. Because you know, you can dream this thing, you can take action, but if you don't feel worthy of this new chapter, you know, it's not going to work. And you really need to believe that you can manifest whatever you want to reality. You are amazing. You are so incredible. You really need to start feeling it. So what can you do to make yourself feel good? Have a look at the emotional guidance scale. Where are you right now? You know, are you vibrating on the frequency of love or are you down on level 22 in fear and depression and despair? Because if you are, it doesn't mean you need to stay there. It just say, just say this, I am where I am and it's okay. Everything is always working out for my highest good. I surrender to the process and I set myself free. We don't have it figured out, but our higher self does. Our angels, they can guide us to where we need to be. So just trust that everything is working out. Then I heard that song. Um, let it be, oh let it be. Speaking words of wisdom, let it be. Speaking words of wisdom, that's affirmations. Speak it into your reality. You could say, I am abundant. I have avalanches of abundance infiltrate my bank account. That's a Tony Robbins one, avalanches of abundance. And I have been using that a lot, which is such an amazing term. I think maybe let's just pull one card from the Shadowscapes Tarot and then that will be it. Okay. Angels, what else do we need to know? This is for May the 14th to the 20th. What else do my beautiful MK Love fan need to know? Just one card for clarity. One card, what else? Oh, thank you very much. Holy crap, you guys got the 10 of pentacles. Ah! This is so exciting. Pentacles is like abundance. This can be material abundance. This could be abundance with friends family, this could literally be gifts of money, this could literally be like money in your bank account. Ah, oh, she's like pick the fruit, like she's holding the fruit and she's just like supported. It's like she's just like supported by the universe. Where, what is she on? She's on a dragon. She's so chill, she's so calm and it's like, I just feel ease and I just feel peace. What do you see when you see this card here? screenshot it if you need this is your card of the week this is like you know everything is working out for you this is incredible oh my gosh then I heard that song unforgettable that's all I know <laughs> oh my goodness there's so much green lots for the heart chakra so this is like once this divine intervention comes for you this week 
It's like it's put you onto a path that's going to give you the abundance that you have always wanted. And it hasn't come the way that you thought because you're like, oh, like, <laughs> I'm not going to say that I heard WTF um, and I'm trying to tone down my swearing. Um, but this is so beautiful. It's just divinely protected. And it's like this divine interventions. It's like swept her up and she's like, like initially when you get on it, you're like, ah, and then you're like, oh, this is kind of nice. It's kind of like, um, like when you get into the uh, really cold pool or an ocean and you like put your foot in, you're like, oh my God, it's so cold. Unless you guys know the Wim Hof method. And then it's like, oh, like when you get in, you're like, oh, actually this is really beautiful. Like this is so beautiful. And I feel like that is the highlight of this week. All right, my loves, comment below and let me know what came up for you because I will be responding. Actually, I will not be responding to you for the first hour because this video, oh no, I will. Yes, I will. <sighs> Cancel that. Um, yes. Oh, I'm, this is so exciting. No, I won't be responding. No, I won't. <laughs> because this is, the video is going to be live during the balsamic moon, during the time in which I am taking the balsamic moon phase, which is usually three or four days off social media, but I'll be responding to you once the new moon goes. So come Tuesday, I'll be responding to you guys. So it'll be a little bit delayed, but you know, yeah, this is what I need to recalibrate myself. So I hope this totally helps you out for this week. Such a beautiful week ahead. Oh my gosh. Please let me know how you're going on your journey. If you are someone who doesn't usually post like comments below, can you just hashtag and let me know which country are you from in the world? Because I would love to hear from you. Anyways, my beautiful MK love fam. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe and I will talk to you on Wednesday for another Law of Attraction video. I love you. Goodbye.